Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 league uh, jersey review. Yeah, thanks to the World Cup, this has to happen now in the new year. But you know, since everything is restarting, it's sometimes even nice to look at the jerseys. And League R is a very interesting league, just on the supplier side. Uh, we have probably more German brands than we have actually in the Bundesliga. We have sadly only one French brand at the moment in League R and only two Nike teams, which I think makes it very, very interesting. Overall, we have quite a few uh, interesting shirts for sure. I always say that the French League is probably a very underappreciated in terms of shirts so i'm really really excited to bring those to you as always i'm grading the jerseys in this review on a scale from one to ten where one is the worst ten is the best and now the question of course is how do i choose the uh, teams that are in each of the four videos since we have 20 teams for the last time uh, for, as for now for liga well i take last season standings and then i go one two three four four three two one and so on and the number next to each team says in which video and which part of the review it will be and so in this video we have om marseille we have Lens, we have lille we have uh trois and we have newly promoted to lose in this video i am wearing marseille but because i sort them in kind of a weird alphabetical way we're gonna start this review with Lance, and Lance is supplied by Puma, and we've already seen in um, La Liga that Puma for the not so top teams has some rather weird designs, and the Lance jersey falls right in there. First of the good, we have the Song Or, so we have the blood and the uh, gold in there. But I have to say, the way this is made, it's again, it cannot decide do we want to put the emphasis on the horizontal or on the vertical? Because we have red shoulders, we have a huge horizontal yellow band that houses the main logos, the club crest and the Puma logo, and then we go pinstripes below that after a red bar below it. Looks odd looks lost though i have i have i have to say and we also have the new the um, um ultra reef template so we have the triangle and so on <sighs> now uh quickly talk sponsors again many sponsors as we usually have in league uh um i think they're relatively well placed and white and black are actually they kind of fit the overall color scheme quite quite well so they don't actually bother me all that much here Oh, it really bothers me the way that they decided on this pattern there. Um, the only good thing I have, I have to say, it looks decidedly lost. And given how Lance is doing well at this moment in the league, is probably a jersey that will sell wildly four stars though for me. I actually would have liked that they, for the home, home jersey, do the away jersey. But, you know, use it in yellow and in red. But the away jersey is green and black, which seemingly is one of the away colors for Lance. That is fine, uh, uh, extra points for the full color crest, although it looks completely not belonging in, in there. That's a classic striped jersey. I do like it, it's what I call Barcelona striping because this is what you would expect from Barcelona as well. Um, we can discuss the colors, the club has worn these colors before, so I cannot deduct too much from it. But I have, have to say, it's actually a rather good looking uh, jersey. Uh, in the template, so I'm gonna uh, give this uh, a six. I mean, it's nothing exciting either. Probably the most exciting for me is the third jersey in white with the sash in the uh, blood and gold. That I actually like. And do you see the sponsor? There's no break in the sash. The sash goes straight through because the sponsor is nicely outlined. That actually makes it look even better. Yes, here the sponsors look a little bit overbearing. I gotta give it that, but I really like the color. I like the sleeve cuffs, that's all fine. I This looks over a really, really, really nice, nice one. Now the one thing that I wish, they only have it as pants sponsors, but with that color scheme, why don't you put two golden arches on the front of the jersey? I think that is the one thing that would put this over the top for me. And yes, it's not healthy, but uh, would look in, in a way very interesting. This one, um, you know, Sponsor overload, yes, so that's why I'm only gonna go seven. Uh, if there were the sponsors a little bit more um, subtly applied, I could give this 
I could even see, see myself getting this 8 or 9. And then they have, then they were wearing this at the beginning of, of the year against PSG, the uh, Saint Bar uh, uh, jersey for Saint Barbara that they come out every year. Uh, seemingly the patron saint of the minors, which fits with an old crest, which has kind of the, uh, the lamp of the minors in there, in gold and in black. Uh, it's a rather strong look, I gotta say. The only thing is, I mean, I know gold and red probably don't look that well and I understand that's why there is the black in there. Maybe I'm missing a little bit the red in there. A sprinkle of red here, here and there. I think this jersey would, would, would have looked even nicer, but I really like the black and the gold. Um, now this time, you know, so far this is black on gold. So far we had uh, gold on black, but uh, this reverse versing it is something a little bit fresh and there's also a nice pattern on there a uh, subtle pattern in there uh, this is a very very strong uh jersey i'm also gonna give this seven for a specialty jersey and from last we go to the big big um rivals in lille now here's only one sponsor and actually one that i really uh, like of course there are more sponsors on uh, on there over the logos uh with the new new balance and uh, crest i'm going off this picture now but i have to say in general this little jersey is one of my favorites in league on this uh season it of course very much looks like the 1984 is inspired by the 1984 france home jerseys there's colors reversed also the one that they won the World Cup in, in 98, you know, with the um, unicolor base, then you have contrasting chest band. Maybe this one's a little bit too broad, but holding a sponsor makes it nice. And then you have some thinner white stripes going down. It's a really, really nice looking jersey. I gotta, I, I gotta say. Um, and then, you know, if you just, just seen this configuration with, with, with a single sponsor, that's a pretty darn good look uh you know the boulanger sponsor that i have up, up, up there is not as good good looking as as, as as this one uh straight nine stars for for me i i really really love this one uh there is a great work that new balance have done which was not always the case the away jersey though that's very very simple rather ra rather plain and i wonder why does the crest have to be in black white on, uh, maybe it's a navy it could be a navy but that you see the problem with navy on white it looks like 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 back so uh, the questions have to have, have to be asked. i think there is a city map or the map of the citadel or something on there but it's i cannot really perceive it all that well so yeah, rather bland jer uh, jersey overall over, over, for that reason, I'm gonna go only five stars here. And the third jersey, I gotta say, is a really, really nice one. Uh, again, with the colors of the uh, Northern France region, um, reverse now, I mean, it would, it's basically the reverse of what the last did. Uh, we have now a black jersey with golden accent, and the end accent, of course, are uh, the uh, bulldog or the mastiff from uh at the crest which actually is a really really nice look i still think that this uh mastiff looks more uh, like a cross between a horse and a dragon than actually a dog because of the whatever is on the back there so that makes it a little bit look weird but overall um also a really nice jersey we have just seen too many of this car color scheme but what is a little bit fresh is that the shoulders are actually patterned and not um and you know not just a plain black uh with gold accents there going over to the team that i'm wearing om uh they decided to in a way go back to their original look we're so used to seeing om with white with the light blue now we have the dark blue same sponsor as lil i personally do like it because it's a very simple sponsor that says some something or uh, you know and there's a little car and it says it's a car zoo in a way. And in that sense, I, I actually do, I, I, I find a very sweet sponsor, sponsor. It's very simple and non-intrusive. But I, I have to say for me, I know the original look was royal blue accents on the white jer jer jersey. It's maybe even a little bit too dark. It just looks off. It just does not look, get quite the look that I would, would, would expect from Marseille and therefore it's a little bit off for me overall in that sense so um cannot be more than an average jer uh, uh, jer jersey for its simplicity i give it a six star 
but it's not one that gets me excited. Which I, I, the away jersey is also very simple, but here the colors fit nicely. This is a very either black or very very dark blue. Again, I cannot really tell. I, I, I actually, actually would like to see, but I think it's a black jersey. But the light blue accents they make it pop. I would like to sponsor them in light, 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 light blue in north, in white. So, but I really, really like. I really like that. Uh, I don't know why the sleeve cuts on the inside have something reddish going on, or maybe it's just a, a bad picture. But there's something really about it that I do enjoy about this one. It's a very strong look, and I have have to say, usually the dark OM jerseys they they really, really look look the part. Simple, effective, beautiful. I'm still going to give it 7 because it could be just a little bit more uh, there, but I I really dig this one. Um, probably the best one for, for, for me is the light blue one uh, with the cross pattern. I just wish that we didn't have this fade going going on, on on the sides, you know, have the darker blue and then with the light blue cross uh, ar around the crest and this would look really nice. But you see, I love this jersey, yeah, the French flag color does... Uh, does elevate it so this makes it better than this uh, than this one but you know uh the cross is such a symbol for marseille as well that this one really hits the fields and then a very pleasing color scheme on a very simple jersey again this is an eight star um lots of th good things are going for it then moving over to toulouse who uh, Kraft has taken over while they got relegated. They were with Homer before uh, or, or in the second league, they were Kraft. And for their return season, they actually went back to a white jersey with purple pinstripes, where before we usually have seen a purple jersey for Toulouse with some white or whatever other role, uh, uh, pink accents. And while I think that the crest is a little bit too complicated for the modern age, I do like it overall. Although I think for, for the modern age, the crest that they had, had, had on this jersey was a little bit better. Um, and while I'm not sure what to think about the white home jersey for uh, TFC, as I now know, uh, know, there is a certain class that comes with the jersey. A pinstripe look just always looks nice. It's already great. And that's something you cannot say very easily. Yes, to me it has an away jersey feel, but the jersey itself and also the sponsor look super class in, in there. It is not unintrusive. Yes, the stripes are broken, but it's down to how the sponsors put it. It is really just the sponsor fits just in. This is just good enough and so I, I really cannot say many bad things about this one. This to me is another 9 star and I got, uh, spoiler alert, to lose is going to have a lot of great jerseys. This was in my top 10 jerseys for last, last season. While it doesn't have totally the purple in there, the black jersey with the gradient over and then add to it the city skyline it's gorgeous and then the gradient also in the sponsor it looks so cohesive it looks absolutely gorgeously beautiful this is one of the best church out there and i really like how the um, uh, right side with the craft logo is yellow then it goes over uh, kind of um in uh, pinkish red uh, orange red pinkish and then uh purple and then the logo side or uh, the crest side is all in, in, in purple. It is a really, really stunning jersey for me. Uh, absolutely loved, loved this one. Uh, I, I think there's no so surprise that I'm gonna give this 10. This is probably my favorite league uh, jersey this season. Um, many love the third jersey, which is now mainly purple, but also with some a few shadings in there. I find person the patterning a little bit too much on, on honestly but it's not a bad choice it's a very interesting one one that i can see collectors lusting after easily um i would have liked i know it makes it makes sense within in in a jersey if the sponsor would have a similar color but i think a full color crest could look a little bit better here because uh you know um the eye is drawn first to the pattern and then to the sponsor and not to the club's crest which i think is a shame here um the many shades of purple is something that i'm not so sold on i know that toulouse is known as the rose city so you know uh, a rosy city in a way 
So I can see why the shades have been chosen that way, but um, not quite, but still a really good one. Eight stars for this one. And then we also get, of course, I said the Rosy City is pink. We get, of course, the pink October jer jersey, uh, Tefese, uh, one of those full color dressed on there. Always like that one. Uh, the pink jersey looks cool. I like it around the crest. They have this um, cross, uh, the uh, the Oxy, the uh, Oxy 10 cross uh, in a way, which was in the uh, simp simp simplified crest. So this is kind of a symbol for southern, so southwestern France. Really like that one. But overall, the jersey is over designed. If it just was then plain pink, maybe you can have uh, alternating sleeves, but it goes then overall totally wild. We have dots, we have patterns, we have the crosses, we have stripes. Uh, it's a whole lot of mess. And for that, while I do like overall the color comp com 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 combination, it just gets too much, absolutely too much. And therefore, this jersey will only get a two star from me. And then we'll move on to Trois, our last team in this video, uh, who are the only French supply team uh, by Le Coq Sportif. And rather simple, I mean, uh, the pet, it's a little bit, the jersey reminds me of a Puma template, and then the um, pattern is a little bit what I've seen with Nike, I think Leipzig and, and so, so it's somewhere sticking in, in between there. It is not your straightforward blue jersey with white accents, there's a little bit gold in there on, on the side. I actually don't mind that it's a, that's a little bit asymmetric, although I never like side, uh, the, the, the stripes just like that as an accent. The pattern looks too random in a way maybe it's also the picture here i mean if it's just uh shadow striping that would be fine but uh it seems like there's some breakage in there uh but this could be just uh creases so if it's just shadow let's say it's shadow stri striping then i'm just about okay, oh, okay but i i think there's also a little bit of point missed the sponsor doesn't really quite fit in there that that could have been applied in white or in gold here the red doesn't really fit it's very average though I have to say, uh, but I'm a little bit more on the like than on, on the dislike side, so I'm gonna go with six here. The away jersey, same thing in white, but here the red sponsor really sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm sorry to say, so we're going a little bit down. Other than that, more or less the same shirt. More or less, I just switch the blue and the white. Um, but I have, have to say here that the red re really bugs me, so I'm gonna go with a four here. And we have, of course, a third jersey, which is the most interesting one of them. I actually like the crest, where suddenly we have a heart in the crest. Uh, so I want to know what's the story behind there. There's also the light blue. You know, it does something different. I like the color. Again, asymmetric layout. You see the sleeve cuffs, one white, one in black and white. And we have still the gold, white and black in there. But I have, have said this is an interesting jersey and the sponsor doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. It actually looks all nicely put two, two together. I honestly have, have said it's probably my, fav, fav, my favorite jersey uh, of Trois this season. Uh, is it enough to, pull it, to push it over uh, the home jersey? Not so sure. I <clears throat> nah, I'm gonna go seven. Let's push, uh, pull, push it over. It's not a bad one overall. So yeah. There you go. These are all the jerseys from the second part uh, of my league uh, jer jersey review. Please let me know which jersey you did like in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.